Hi friends, welcome to the channel of Agathandra, that's Toxicology. Today we are going to look into the syllabus point that is roots or modes of administration of poison. How a poison is administered in the body. First, let's look into its definition. Definition goes as a route of administration is the path by which a drug, fluid, poison or other substance is brought into contact with the body. It can be of any form and it can be of any path which is administered by which the body is come into contact with that poison. Now, let's look what are the routes of administration. First comes the oral route. Oral route matla means it is swallowed by mouth as a tablet, capsule, lozenge or any liquid form which is swallowed by mouth. Next route is sublingual that means means under the tongue by which the medicine is absorbed. Yeah, toxin is absorbed quickly. So sublingual route is the another route. Next is the inhalation route that is inhaled in gaseous or vaporous gases such as carbon monoxide, methane, hydrogen sulfide etc. in industries which is the next route that is inhalation route. Next is the paraenteral route which includes subcutaneous intramuscular and intravenous. Paraenteral root means other than the digestive tract that is by means of subcutaneous, intramuscular, yeah, intravenous root etc. Next is application to a wound. The toxin or the medicine it can be brought in contact with that wound or it can be applied to the wound and it can be administered. Next is the introduction into the natural orifices other than mouth by using rectum, vagina, urethra etc. And it is given that some drugs it can be given by rectal root to produce a systemic effect. Example aspirin, barbiturates etc. Even though they are given to the rectal root it can be act on a systemic way. Next is the application to unbroken skin. Even though the skin is not broken, we can apply the medicines, yeah, toxins. For example, organic phosphates, nicotine, some organic solvents and levicide gas. It can penetrate the skin and produce intoxication and even death. Even though it is just applied in the skin, it can cause intoxication and death. These are the next route of administration of poison. So, we have looked into the modern aspect of root of administration of poison. But in the olden days, there were other methods or modes of administration of poison. Let's look into that. According to the Ayurveda, the modes of administration of the poisons were given in Shushrit Kalpasthana, first chapter, as Anne, Pane, Danda Kashte, Tada Abhinge, Avalekane, Utsadane, Kashayecha, Parishege, Anulebane, Straksu, Vastreshu, Shayasu, Kavajabaraneshu, Paduka, Pada Pideshu, Prishteshu, Gajavajina, Vishajushteshu, Cha Anneshu, Nasya, Dumanja Nadishu. These were the modes of administration of poison. Let's look into one by one, okay? First comes the Anna, that means by means of food. Next is the Pana, to the drinks. Then third is the Danda Kashta, that is toothbrush. By means of the toothbrush, they apply your they administer the poison. Next is the abhyanga that means by means of the massage oil. Next is the avalekana. Avalekana means in the teka it is given as kesha prasadana which represents the comb. Next is the utsadana which means rubbing of the medicines over the body. Through that also the toxins were administered. Next is the kashaya that is decoction and can be in the form of any liquid medicine. Next is the parishega which means the sprinkling or pouring. That is by dara etc. In that medicines also the toxins were administered. Next is anulebana which means anointing that is leben karma. 
next next is thrakshu thrakshu means the pushpa mala at that time the pushpa mala were used and the poison were administered in that mala also next is the vastra which means by means of clothes Next is the Shaya, which means in the bed they used to administer and instill the poison. Next is the Kavaja, which refers to Arma ya breastplate. Arma ya breastplate was used in the olden times, uh, olden kings and soldiers, etc. And in order to poison them also, they used to apply the medicines over the Kavaja. Next is the Abarana, which refers to the ornaments. Next is Paduka, which refers to slippers. Then Pada Peda, which means as food trust. Next is Gajavaji Prishta. In the olden days, the animals were used for the travel purpose and they used to sit on the back. That is Gajavaji Prishta. In that Prishta also, they used to administer poison. Next is the next the, in the slogan it is given as Nasya Duma Anjanati Show. That means Nasya by means of nasal root, Duma that is by inhalation root, Anjana that is by application through the eye, etc. These all are the and other like these or any other methods were used in the administration of the poison. We can correlate this with the various types of allergy. Here yeah, the skin problems that the persons come into contact with. For. There are slipper allergy and ornaments allergy and the application that is kungum application etc. causes allergy to some persons. And the treatment methods which are mentioned by the Ajarya can be used in that purpose also. The symptoms that is given in the labor poison, that mugal labor poisoning, etc., resembles to that of the cosmetic toxicity, which, uh, which is a major problem in this era. And we can utilize these methods and its treatment in that way. Many researchers, that is, PG scholars, have done researches in that matter also by using that medication. The research is still going on. And next, an important concept of the poisoning by the, in the olden days was that of Vishakanya. And the Ashtanga Sangra reference goes like this Ajanma Visha Samyogat Kanya Visha Mayi Krita Sparsha Uchwa Sadibir Handi Tasyastu Edat Parikshanam Tan Mastagasya Samsparshan Mlayade Pushpa Pallavehi Shayayam Matkrine Vastre Yukabihi Snana Varinihi in that Ajarya mentions that from the second day of birth of a female child they used to administer the poison to that female child in small quantities and by means of that that lady that Kanya, she becomes Sadhmya to, to that Visha and it will not cause any harm to that lady. But those who are coming into contact with that Kanya, they will suffer from the poisonous effect, even the death. In, in earlier times, in order to kill the kill other kings or other rulers, etc., the Visha Kanyas were used for the purpose. And reference is also given that this Kanya, they were uh, selected on the basis of the horoscope that is in the horoscope if the, the kanya is having a fate of widowship that kanyas they used to select for this purpose and according to the sloga it is mentioned that ajanma visha samyoga that is by birth itself they are administered the poison by which kanya visha mai krita she she become poisoned and sparsha uchwa sadibir handi that means by means even by her touch or by her uchwasa adi which includes by means of contact with her or even sexual intercourse with them will causes the death of the other person tasyastu edat parikshnam and the lakshana of this vishakanya is that tan mastakasya samsparshat mlayade pushpa pallavaihi that is the flowers or the pallava which is tied on their head it will get droop or wilt that is it it causes the mlanada and shayaya matkrine that means the bugs which is present in the bed and vastre yukabhi and the ticks etc which is found in the clothes they will die by the contact of that kanya and snana varini 
and the water which is used for bath by the skanyas if used by anyone it causes the poisoning of that person these are the lakshanas of the vishakanya these were also a mode of administration of the poison in the olden days let's stop today's class thank you